Finding engaging and educational activities to teach preschool and kindergarten students about plants and flowers can be time consuming. If you're a teacher or parent looking for fun and interactive ways to teach your students about plants and flowers, then I've got some suggestions that'll help. Today, I'm sharing a variety of activities that'll not only capture the attention of your students, but also help them develop a deeper understanding of the natural world around them. From fine motor skills, literacy and math activities, life cycles, and hands-on learning, your young learners will be bursting with excitement to share what they know all about plants and flowers. I believe that learning should be both informative and fun. And by incorporating dramatic play and sensory bin experiences into the lesson plans, your students can actively explore and learn new concepts. I always aim to create a positive learning environment where curiosity and creativity are nurtured. Whether you're a teacher looking to enhance your classroom curriculum or a parent just wanting to supplement your child's learning at home, these plant and flower lesson plan activities are sure to engage and inspire young minds. Stay tuned. educational rock stars welcome back to another episode of one classroom over my mission is simple to equip you with actionable tips transformative stories effective classroom systems and expert insights for your classroom i'm farah also known as the center fairy your go-to guide for all things for simplifying your teacher life each episode dives deep into key facets of the teaching experience from lesson planning and classroom management to student engagement and professional growth. If you're new here, be sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and click that bell so that you'll be notified when I go live or upload a new video here on the channel. Today, we're diving into the topic of plants and flowers. So whether you're sipping coffee at home or binge watching while prepping your lessons, crank up the volume and get ready for a dose of inspiration and empowerment. Let's dive in. Teaching students about plants and flowers is essential for their overall development. Plants and flowers play a vital role in our lives, providing us with food, oxygen, and beauty. By introducing plant and flower related activities to your preschool and kindergarten students, you can help them understand the importance of nature and develop a sense of responsibility towards the environment. Engaging with plants and flowers also helps students develop important cognitive and sensory skills. They learn to observe, explore, and describe plant characteristics, fostering their curiosity and critical thinking abilities. Additionally, incorporating plant and flower activities into the curriculum allows your students to develop fine motor skills, language and literacy skills, and mathematical concepts in a fun and engaging way. Fine motor skills are crucial for your children as they lay the foundation for activities such as writing and drawing and using tools. Engaging in activities that promote fine motor skill development while teaching about plants and flowers can be both educational and enjoyable. One such activity is creating a flower crown using construction paper, glue, and decorative materials. Encourage your students to cut out flower shapes and decorate them with different materials, such as colored paper, sequins, and glitter. This activity not only enhances their fine motor skills, but also allows them to express their creativity. Another activity to promote fine motor skill development is creating a sensory bin filled with dried flowers, leaves, and small gardening tools. Students can use tweezers or tongs to pick up and sort the different plant materials, improving their hand-eye coordination and dexterity. Sensory bins are a fantastic way to engage young learners and provide hands-on experiences. Creating a plant and flower themed sensory bin can help your students explore different textures, colors, and scents associated with plants and flowers. To create a sensory bin, start by filling a large container with materials such as dried flowers, potting soil, small gardening tools, and plant themed toys. Encourage your students to explore the bin using their senses, allowing them to touch, smell, and observe the different items. To further enhance the sensory bin experience, you can include a water bottle that they can spray to represent raindrops or scented Play-Doh to mimic the smell of flowers. These additions provide additional sensory stimulation that make the activity more engaging for your young learners. Now, understanding plant life cycles is a fundamental concept that your students need to grasp. By engaging in hands-on activities that demonstrate the different stages of a plant's life cycle, your students can gain a deeper understanding of how plants grow and reproduce. One activity that can effectively teach plant life cycles is growing plants from seeds. Provide your students with a small pot soil, and a package of seeds. Guide them through the process of planting the seeds, 
watering them, and observing their growth over time. This activity not only teaches your students about life cycles of plants, but it also instills a sense of responsibility and caring for living things. Another hands-on activity is creating a life cycle wheel using paper plates and pictures representing each stage of a plant's life cycle. Children can cut out and paste the pictures in the correct order, allowing them to visualize and understand the sequential nature of the plant's growth. Incorporating art and craft projects into plant and flower lessons not only fosters creativity, but also helps your students learn about the different parts of a plant. By creating visual representations of plant parts, your students can develop a deeper understanding of the functions and their significance. One art project idea is to create a collage of various materials that represent different plant parts. Provide your students with magazines, colored paper, and craft materials such as pipe cleaners and pom-poms. Encourage them to cut out and assemble the materials to create flowers, leaves, stems, and roots. Prompt them to discuss the purpose of each plant part as they work on their collages. Another craft project idea is making leaf rubbing. Take your students on a nature walk to collect different types of leaves. Back in the classroom, provide them with crayons and paper and instruct them to place the leaves under the paper and gently rub the crayon over it. This activity not only allows students to explore the textures and the shapes of the leaves, but also helps them understand the role of leaves in photosynthesis. Outdoor play provides a wealth of opportunities for children to engage with plants and flowers in their natural setting. Creating a flower garden in the schoolyard or at home can be a wonderful way to incorporate plants and flowers into outdoor play. Start by designing a space for the flower garden. Involve your students in the planning and preparation process and allow them to choose the types of flowers that they want to plant. Provide them with child-sized gardening tools and teach them how to prepare the soil, plant the seeds or seedlings, and care for the plants. As the flowers grow, encourage your students to observe and document their progress. They can draw pictures or even take photographs of the flowers at different stages of growth. This activity not only connects children with nature, but also teaches them about the importance and patience of nurturing. Integrating literacy skills into your plant and flower lessons can enhance your students' language development and comprehension abilities. By incorporating books and resources that focus on plants and flowers, you can create a rich learning experience for your young learners. Choose age-appropriate books about plants and flowers to read aloud to your students. Ask questions and encourage discussions about the content of the book. This not only improves their listening and speaking skills, but also expands their vocabulary and knowledge about plants and flowers. Additionally, provide children with writing materials to create their own plant and flower themed stories or poems. Encourage them to use descriptive language and incorporate what they've learned about plants and flowers into their writing. This activity not only supports literacy skills, but also encourages students to express their thoughts and their ideas creatively. Mathematical concepts can seamlessly be integrated into plant and flower lessons, making learning more meaningful and relevant for your students. Engaging in math activities related to plants and flowers helps them develop their number sense, measurement skills, and problem-solving abilities. One math activity idea is conducting a counting and sorting activity using different types of seeds. Provide your students with a variety of seeds such as sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and bean seeds. Ask them to sort and count them based on their characteristics such as size, shape, and color. This activity not only reinforces counting skills, but also introduces students to the basic concepts of classification and comparison. Another math activity is measuring the height of plants using non-standard units of measurement. Provide your students with items such as popsicle sticks or paper clips and ask them to measure the different heights of plants in their garden or in the classroom. Encourage them to compare the heights of the plants and discuss their findings. This activity promotes measurement skills and encourages critical thinking. Dramatic play allows children to explore different roles and scenarios, fostering their imagination and social emotional development. Incorporating dramatic play activities into your plant and flower lessons can provide a hands-on and an interactive learning experience for your students. Set up a pretend flower shop or garden center in the classroom and provide children with artificial flowers, plant pots, gardening tools, and even a cash register. Encourage them to take on roles such as florists, customers, or gardeners. This activity allows your students to engage in pretend play while learning about the different aspects of plants and flowers, such as buying and selling, caring for plants, and even arranging them. Another dramatic play activity is creating a plant-themed restaurant or cafe. Provide your students with play food items and plant-related props such as fruits, vegetables, and flowers. Encourage them to take turns being the chef, waiters, or customers. 
This activity not only fosters creativity and social skills, but also introduces your students to the concept of using plants and flowers as ingredients in cooking. Engaging your young learners with these activities not only helps them develop a deeper understanding of the natural world, but also fosters important cognitive, sensory, and social-emotional skills. By incorporating hands-on experiences, art and craft projects, outdoor play, and literacy and math activities into the curriculum, you can be a holistic learning environment that sparks curiosity and ignites a love of nature. Plant and flower lessons provide your students with a foundation for future scientific exploration and environmental stewardship. By nurturing their understanding and appreciation of plants and flowers at this early age, you can help them become responsible and caring individuals who value and protect their natural world. So let's get started on this exciting journey of learning and discovery with our little ones. Now, if you're looking for more tips, strategies, and simple systems to take back into your classroom to make your teacher life a little easier, check out the other videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and keep being an educational rock star.